this is uh, this is uh, Second Peter chapter three verse three. It says, "Knowing this first, there shall come in the last days scoffers and walking after their own lust." Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh Hashem, uh, Yahweh Shabbat Hashem, Akadosh. Shalom to the elders of Great Millstone for Christian Word, Truth, and Sincerity. And shalom to the Akim, scattered in the four corners of the globe. Christian Word, Truth, and Sincerity as well, too. And I'll say shalom to the Akim out there. And this is a lesson that inspired me to do. And, you know, yesterday I had got done with camp and stuff like that. You know, and I was walking downtown, I said yesterday. And when I walked into this uh, Judite, Israelite sister, you know, she was scoffing and saying that, uh, you know what I'm saying, that uh, all you uh, out there teaching the Bible, you think that's going to save you, you know. So that's a prime example of uh, scoffers, scoffers and mockers walking out there their own list. So that's a prime example right there. And this is a, this what inspired me to do this uh, lesson, you know. So it's going to be like that in latter days, hey, scoffers and mockers out there their own list. You know, people of the other nations and our nation as well too, you know. So they're gonna think us as crazy for uh, breaking out the Bible, teaching, and out there in the right ways and by ways that she plays a concourse as well too. You know, as us men of the Lord, we are the ministers of Hamashiach and Havashiach, you know. So, hey, it's gonna be like that in a lot of days, you know, scoffers and mockers walking after their own lust. So we're gonna see that a lot in a lot of days, you know. I'm gonna bring it out again. This is a uh, Second Peter chapter three verse three, uh, KJV of the Holy Scriptures, and it reads: It says, "Knowing this, uh, this first that shall come in the last days, scoffers and mockers, walking after their own lust." Right. So, what love, the lust of the flesh what appease them? What, what what comforts them? You know, what the flesh appeases for them or their lust? You know. And this is the book of Jude, chapter 1, I mean Jude, chapter 18, verse 1. It says, uh, how is that he told, there shall be mockers in the last time. Uh, I'm going to read that again because that was uh, noise in the background. This was uh, the book of Jude chapter 18 verse 1 and it reads it says uh, how that they told you there shall be mockers in the last time who shall walk after their un ungodly lust right you're going to see that as well too on the ungodly lust right just like it says in second timothy so when you read it further on down i believe uh, verse 4 or verse second timothy 3 verse 4 i believe it says uh you know, they, they, uh, you know, they despise all those that are good, you know. Like the scripture says, uh, the, the, uh, the poor man, the wisdom, the wisdom of the poor man teaches is, is despised. But the rich man is being everyone else, you know. So, you know, that was just a prime example that what uh, inspired me to do this uh, walk and talk lesson, you know. So, hey, that's a prime example like I just mentioned, you know. Judite sister came up, walked past me when I was just mad at my own business, you know. She's saying, uh, oh, you just read the Bible that you think that's the only, that's, you think that's going to be the only way that uh, saves you, you know. You think the Bible that going to save you, you know. So, hey, that's a prime example. Hey, the God of this world blinded the minds of the people. I believe that's in the second Chronicles 4 and 4. If I'm not mistaken, I'm going to bring that out. Hey, so it's going to be scoffers and mockers walking after their own lust. That's a prime example, like I mentioned. <coughs> and this is the book of uh, Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. And it reads to the Holy Scriptures from the BibleGateway.com and it reads, Salakia. It says, uh, 
and the God of this world who have blinded the minds of the people. Believe not, least light of the glory of the gospel of Hamashiach and Havashah, who is the image of Yahweh, shall shine unto them. Right. Right. So the ones they don't believe on the, the true words of Yahweh Shemashah, you know, they put that trust in that, that false image of Sejuray Borgir. That's why it says, uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 4, and the God of this world who have blinded the minds of the people, you know, which is all these other nations in our nation as well, too. That's why that Israelite sister has scoffed and mocked me. I don't know, she must have beat me when I was out there teaching and stuff like that after I got there teaching. You know, when I was walking past as of yesterday, you know, and she, she walked past and scoffed, you know, saying that, oh, you, you put your trust in that Bible, that that Bible is thick. You, you know, she was saying that, you know, the Bible, you think that the Bible is going to save you and stuff like that, you know, so, hey. In uh, Hosea 4 and 6, it says, my people are prescribed for a lack of knowledge. You know, and yeah, that's a prime example, you know. So, hey, that was just a prime example. That shows you a prime example right there, you know. Scoffers and mockers walking after their own. And I'm going to bring it out again. So lock it. Right, and this is uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 3. It reads, it says, knowing this, that there should come in the last days the offers and walkers after their own lust. Right, and that's true. You know, now I'm going to bring out the uh, Second Timothy as well too. Second Timothy three and one. Second Timothy chapter three verse one. It says, "This know also that in the last days, uh, perilous times will come." Right. So we are definitely in those uh, perilous times. You know. So hey, the blind, hey, the, the God of this world blinded the minds of the people. Hey, hey, they shall fall in the ditch. You know, let the blind lead the blind. They both shall fall in the ditch. You know? And that's what's uh, occurring. You know, in a lot of days. That's why hey, perilous times will come. We are definitely are in the times. Uh, verse two. This is a uh, second Timothy three and two. It says, "For men shall be lovers of themselves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, uh, and unhealthy." This is a. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to say I'm coming in the holy of the house spirit and all that. <laughs> no, that's not the case. You know, but this is just a inspiration, a uh, lesson that I want to, uh, you know, bring out as a walk and talk lesson. So. Just like I brought out the uh, second Peter three and three, you know, walk, you know, there should be in the last days uh, scoffers and pockets walking after their own lusts, you know. And I, I just want to add a note to that, you know. But continuing on with the reading, this is a uh, second Timothy three and three. Without natural affections, truth breakers, false accusers, incompetent, fierce, the spies are those that are good, right? The spies are those that are good, you know. I don't know. She must have see me when I was walking you know she must have seen me when I was out there teaching man you know she just walked past she probably just <laughs> you know probably when I got through with camp and stuff like that after I had gotten cheated and then she walked past me out of nowhere saying that uh you think that that Bible is going to save you know so hey that's a prime example right there they despise of those that are good they are despise of those that try to continue to seek Which is the uh, Apocrypha of the Holy Scriptures and the Greeks. It 
it says uh, Ecclesiasticus 13 and 28 in Greek. It says when a rich man speak, everyone holds in tongue. And it says, um, it says, and look what he said, takes out into the clouds. But if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. Right? That's what we are seeing in the latter days, you know. Hey, when a poor man speak, nobody don't pay attention to that. They don't take that to heart. They despise that. And that's what our people do, you know. They, uh, they, and the most scoffers we get within our own nation, you know. Try to tell them that they are the children of Israel, you know. You know, your nationality was stripped away from you, you know. You are the people of the uh, Holy Scriptures. But, you know, they, they deny that, you know. They, you know, they reject that, you know. So that shows you the prime example right there. So the gods of this world have blinded the minds of the people, you know. And that's what's occurring in a lot of days. Hey, we're going to continue to see that increase now so more than ever, you know. People are walking in. That should be uh, last day scoffers and mockers walking after their own bus. So we're going to continue to see that, you know, in the latter days as well, too. So, uh, so with that, hopefully this lesson was out of fun. Through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of the Hawaii Al Shai. And first and foremost, I would like to give all the praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Shalom to the elders, the great males, the for